morning everyone welcome back to another vlog today is our second and a half day in the big island on the big island in Kona Steven's driving I'm listening to show tunes and belting them out we just got our rental car we actually decided to skip vlogging yesterday yesterday was our first full day in Kona and we had a great time we just it was kind of more of like a relaxing day so we decided you know we'll just take some time for ourselves without the vlog we went to the beach we went to the pool we went to Kona brewery it was a lot of fun but today Today's more of an adventure day. Um, excuse me. What? What'd you make us do in the morning? What did I make us do in the morning? What did we have to wake up early for? Yesterday? Yesterday. I literally have no recollection. What did I make us wake up for? <gasps> oh, Pokemon! That's right, we played Pokemon in the morning. <laughs> yeah, here I am out in Hawaii, and I gotta play Pokemon for three hours. Oh, like you didn't enjoy every second <laughs> of it. You so did. You're just bitter, because I caught more Chikoritas than you. Anyways. Now that all the Pokemon is done, well, I mean, that's never really done, but today is gonna be more of an adventure day. We picked up our rental car today. We have a rental car today and tomorrow. So today we are gonna be driving quite a bit. It's kind of like a road trippy day. Our first stop is this place called Two Step. It's a really popular snorkeling spot. It's supposed to be amazing and beautiful. There's turtles and dolphins and seals and oh my, there's supposed to be a lot of really cool fish too. So um, that's gonna be fun. We brought our snorkel gear with us on the flight, so it's in the back of the car we've lugged it all the way here we're gonna get our use out of it but one of the things that I'm a little bit bummed about is last year when we were here on our honeymoon we got this beautiful footage of us snorkeling and all the fish because I brought my GoPro and no GoPro on this trip just I just completely forgot it didn't even think once about it and then yesterday as we were about to go in the ocean I was like Wait, I didn't even bring my GoPro. So, sorry guys, no cool snorkeling footage. But honestly, maybe it's a good thing because it'll make me a little bit more present in the moment and just enjoy the experience for myself as I'm snorkeling. And then after snorkeling, we're going to be driving to the volcano, which I'm very excited about because I'm a big rocks nerd. I used to want to be a geologist like my whole childhood. So I love like volcanoes and rocks and all that stuff. So we're gonna be going up to the Volcano National Park, which has actually been closed for the past four months because of the volcanic activity. It just reopened yesterday. Yesterday was the first day it was open, so we're very excited to be some of the first tourists to go see the volcano. But unfortunately, we won't be able to actually see the lava flow because right now you can only see it by helicopter and the helicopter ride was like $250. So I, I'm thinking we probably won't do that. And that's per person. That's per person, yeah. So that would have been like $500. We already have a rental car and we we're trying to be a little bit more budget friendly this trip and just enjoy more of the free activities like, you know, hiking the volcano and snorkeling and all that. So probably won't be seeing any lava, but we will get to see the volcano, which will be fun. We accidentally drove into the state park and set up the beach area and they directed us on where to park along the street and I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like a really long walk or anything but we just turned the corner and I can already see the circle spot so definitely not a long walk at all there's like a crazy amount of butterflies here huh hon yeah, there's like lots. there's so many butter like there one just literally flew by my face I've never seen so many little yellow butterflies in my life I have no idea why maybe just because the plant life is very plentiful but I don't know it's it's it was like really like magical until one hit our windshield when Steven was driving <laughs> then the magic was a little bit, a little bit killed. Oh my gosh, you guys. So we're snorkeling in the water and Steven points out a turtle. We see a sea turtle. We swim with it for like 10 minutes. We decide to get out and we're like, man, I can't believe we missed that on camera. How cool. It was our first time seeing a sea turtle together. Steven's first time ever seeing one. And then right when we get out, Steven spots one like right there on the lava rock, so close. So we did get to show you guys a little bit of that. That was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> you can even see all the yellow tang right there. Big school of them, nice and bright. That was awesome. So fun, so cool. Honestly, probably the best snorkeling I've ever done. What do you think? Yeah, it was really good. Really cool. And apparently there's a pod of dolphins out there right now. Oh my gosh, they're like jumping up in the air. But um, we missed them right when we got out is when the dolphins came in. So we didn't get to swim with the dolphins, but we do get to see them from pretty far out. This is the most precious thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye, coconut. Well, that was just a perfect snorkel spot. I think we both had a pretty awesome time. That was really fun. Yeah. And my first ever sea turtle. I know. That was really cool. It was so cute. He was like pointing at it. He was like tapping me. He's like, look, look. I'm like, I know. I see it. For like five minutes, you were still pointing at it. It was so cute. I didn't know if you saw it because you were like, bah. I did see it. 
And it was really cute that you wanna make sure I did. I loved that. So today we are wearing our matching Kona Brewery shirts that we got yesterday. Well, they're not really matching, but they're coordinating because I have the purple women's cut and he has the gray yeah. men's t-shirt. So right now we are on our way to the Volcano National Park and we're gonna be doing about a four mile hike there. It's called the Kailua Iki Trail. Again, like I said earlier, it's been closed for the past couple months and yesterday was the first day it was open. So it's gonna be interesting to see, you know, kind of how the lava has changed it and all that. But before we hit up the national park, we are stopping at a restaurant for some lunch. It's pretty much the only restaurant on the two hour drive from the snorkeling spot to the volcano park. So we don't have too many options, but hopefully it's good. I was sleeping in the car and Stephen just woke me up to see this view. It's so beautiful. I should probably roll the window up so the audio isn't messed up. So the trail that we wanted to do ended up being closed. Like I said earlier, there was a lot of stuff that got messed with from all the vac volcanic activity and the Kailua Iki Trail was one of those, so it is closed. <laughs> yeah. But um, the park ranger recommended another route for us that's about two miles on a loop, so about half the distance, but we still get to see this beautiful overlook of the crater with the steam rising up from the little like, what's it called, what they call them? Little pockets. Like the little po steam yeah. pockets. Yeah. It's really, really cool, I'll show you guys. Well, that was kind of cool. Right behind us was actually a hotel kind of over overlooking the Hawaiian crater. So is that what I call it? The Hawaiian crater? <laughs> sure. I think there's more than one crater here, but we'll call it that for now because we're tourists. Yeah. yeah. So there's a hotel where you can stay on top of an active volcano. Yeah. How and cool then is that? The other side. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Can't see too I much. I think we got a better but shot of it earlier. Actually, I don't know where Sierra and I are going, but I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to go in this. But let's go anyways. Hmm, so much to choose from. I don't know which one we should do. Is this the one you wanted to do? Yeah, no, 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 no. Um, Icky Trail. This is the one I wanted to do. Uh, close. And it's closed. I don't know how far away it was. How long does it say? It's supposed one to be. Mile. Oh, well, well it's. It starts one mile. That's true. Okay. This isn't, this isn't half mile long. It's half mile that way. Until the trail starts. Cool. All right, let's go. Guess we can't do that. Cons of being on top of an active volcano. <laughs> isn't it weird that this could explode at any moment? You go flying into the air with a volcanic lava. Yep. Reminds me of my flatulence. Oh my gosh, Stephen! <laughs> this entire hike has just been Stephen comparing the lava to his farts. So welcome to married life. <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but there's steam just coming right out of that hole in the ground there. It's like a little spa, like a little steam room. I should go just stick my face in it. Whoa! That's crazy. Can I take a Snapchat and call it Earth Farts? <laughs> This is about as close we're gonna get to seeing lava. <laughs> Does that count? Yeah, well there's no lava, but this is like kind of a, a effect of the lava under the ground. Down there is pretty yeah, but we can't get down there. It's like there's some gnarly stuff going on. That's why, exactly why we can't get down there. It's too spooky. All right, so we're just about to turn back and head the other way on the trail. I really enjoyed this walk and really enjoyed nerding out about all the volcano stuff. It's a I lot know. of fun. It's also really cool to learn that um, the Kilauea volcano, where we were at, is actually the most active volcano yeah. in the world. See, we heard a park ranger say that, and Sierra's like, what? I didn't know that. I was like, what, girl? I had no idea. I just you thought Google it was a normal Hawaii volcano. volcano. And the little blurb under is like the most active volcano in the world. Well, here we are, just on the verge of death. It could explode in any moment. It is very spooky. Yeah. Like looking out at a hole and be like, somewhere there's a hole down there that just goes all the way down to bad news bears. <laughs> Go out there and just film with volcanoes. Touch it. I don't no, don't think you can touch it, but. No, you can't. Well, yesterday, Sierra was like, oh, you know if you get near lava, you disintegrate. That's not what I said. I said After it can make your, your like blood boil because of the water. Oh, that's what I told you after we did the research. Lies. <laughs> Lies. All right, it is about 8.15. We got back into the hotel room an hour ago. Yeah. The drive back was beautiful, but I think Steven was a little stressed out because we took the rainy side of the island <laughs> yeah, so and it was rainy. We went over like the big center hill and it was like just random. Fog, yeah, rain. Really windy road and. People cutting in and out. It was, it was a lot, fine. but um, it was like a romantic drive. Like I love long drives and we played all my Taylor Swift music, yeah. which was it, real you fun. You know For a vacation on an island, it was actually a long drive. Yeah, it, was like, it really like, was. It was only two hours, but still it's two I mean, hours. we went across half the island in that time. <laughs> no, and no, this we, is the big so island. We went over the island. We went from side to side. We really did. But the short side. You can also do the long side. So when we got back, I was like ready to go to dinner. So with Steven, and then we remembered, I haven't done my homework for my class yet. 
So I sat down and did it and Stephen helped me get through it, which I was yeah. very glad about. And it's personal finance, which is kind of actually like interesting for us since yeah. it's a good couple we bought a class. home. <laughs> so uh, I got my class done. Thank goodness. I don't know why I crossed my fingers. I'm so tired. Yes, you're tired. I'm like, I was trying Here, to- show them where the big island is. Oh, let's see. All right, so there's where we were earlier on the trip. There's where we went last trip. And here's where we are now. And the most important spot, Kona Pub and Brewery. <laughs> they have it mapped on the map of the That's Big Island. I think we're gonna get our last beer before we fly home. Yeah, on Tuesday. I think so. If we wear our shirts, we get $4 beers. So we gotta do that. Boom. I think that's it for the night. Yeah, we're gonna get dinner and do what? Go to bed. No! Go watch Moana. Yeah, we're gonna watch Moana. It was Steven's idea. I've never been so like happy and proud. Steven's well, like, what were you talking about this morning? I was playing Moana in the car. No, 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 no. It started, oh, the documentary, the Hawaiian. Oh volcano. yeah, I watched a documentary. Last yeah, last night. I put yeah. a documentary on like the Hawaiian volcanoes and like formation of the islands, so. And, like the Polynesians coming here. Yeah, so now we're gonna watch Moana. I need to watch the best documentary. Yeah, now I need cartoon Polynesians. Yeah, so we will see you guys tomorrow with another fun Hawaii vlog, our last full day in Hawaii.